And now this week's Behind the Biz segment, Yolanda Vasquez on a family-owned business that never stops building. Well, Jeff, we're located here at the design studio for Owings Brothers Contracting. They're a full-service remodeling and home building company that's been in business for about 30 years. In fact, they celebrated their 30th anniversary this year. Joining me now to talk a little bit more about the company is Michael Owings. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thanks for coming today. Thanks Appreciate for, you coming out. Thanks for inviting us in here. We're going to talk about this space in a second, but I want to go back a little bit to the beginnings of the company because it's very interesting on your website where you talk about how all of this sort of started with uh, the whole family, and you've got several brothers, hence the name of the company, working on a 200-year-old home of your family. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we're one of, I'm one of eight, so there's eight children. Oh, there's more. <laughs> four, there's four, four sisters and four brothers. Okay. Um, basically, my dad bought a larger home when we first moved out to the county, and he decided that would be the best place to set up shop. Uh, unfortunately, it needed a lot of work. So over growing up over the years, we had an opportunity to work on old house and learn a lot of things about old houses and what you can and can't do. And I think that really was the original roots of our going into the construction business. And how do you go from that into starting to even build the business going back 30 years ago? Was your dad at the lead at that point or were the brothers kind of rallied together and said, let's do this? Or how did it kind of, or did it just magically happen? <laughs> Good question. Uh, actually, when I was getting out of college, I was doing it for side money. I was actually kind of doing it on weekends and evenings and things like that. Uh, I was looking for a job, and uh, at the time, the economy was a little bit off. Uh, so just like many other businesses, uh, no one came offering or knocking. So I went ahead and uh, kept doing what I was already doing. And the next thing you know, it evolved into a full time. Here I am 30 years later. So it started as a side business that kind of evolved into a full time job. And then sometimes it just happens that way. Tell us a little bit about the variety of services you provide, because you and I were talking a second ago, and it really kind of runs the gamut. It does, and really that comes from being in business with three other brothers. We can we have a lot of resources. Uh, they can cover a lot of ground. So we basically do, we say we're in the shelter business. So we do custom homes, but we'll also do some home maintenance, you know, some daily work for half a day or a day if you needed some general maintenance. So we do cover the whole spectrum. This studio that we're located in right now, you said this has kind of been in the making for a while and you just recently got it up and running. What, what, were you, what was the idea when you were first putting it together and, and how will it service your clients moving forward? Well, what basically happened is we decided we would really try to help our clients out by controlling our end destiny. And that was having some of the finished product available so that we could help them through the selection, through the design, and actually control some of the time frames so that our delivery of the material and the project would be more timely. So I think it was kind of a, the really all three. It was cost controlling, it was time controlling, and giving a better experience to the customer. We're looking at some pictures right now um, of some of the designs that you've done. Give us an idea. It's kitchens and sunrooms and what else? What are some bathrooms, obviously? When we say full service, it really does cover the whole gamut. Some of our clients come in with architectural plans, and we'll go ahead and provide services and, 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 and follow that line of work. We also sometimes people really with their busy schedules like to do a design program with us. So we have in-house design services so we can do the whole, you know, from start to finish. Uh, kitchens and bathroom, we do provide interior design services. We have in-house kitchen designer. So we really try to be very accommodating to the customer. So with everybody having a busy schedule, we feel like, you know, if we can be a one-stop shop, that's, that's our goal. That's our goal. What's it like working with your brothers? I know they're here in the office today. Most people know contractors are never in an office. They're always out on site. But uh, tell me about what that's like, uh, you know, being family and then also being business partners, so to speak. Well, there's four different personalities. So <laughs> when you take that right into the equation, that you have four different people thinking four different ways. But we actually do different roles. Like my role, I don't overlap with them too much. Mm -hmm. So we kind of keep it on a daily basis. We do have kind of some distance between us. They're usually out running the job and I'm usually in the house here trying to work on design and things like that. But um, after 30 years, if you haven't figured it out, <laughs> you know, but I think we have. I yeah. think the key there is I think we have figured it out and we work well together. I think we travel as a herd. Yeah, that's it. And one last piece of advice that you would give to people who might be either trying to remodel a part of their home or even do a custom build, looking for a contractor can sometimes be a good or bad experience. What would you say to folks out there when they start to you know, make those calls and do their research? 
I think it's always good to start with references. Friends and family are always good. That, that's your solid referral type. You know, if you're looking for a contractor, they, that gives you a chance to look at their experience, talk to them about their experience. So that's a good starting point. Um, there are some licensed agencies that you should check. The Maryland Home Improvement Commission is one of those. There's the Better, I think the Baltimore Better Business Bureau mm -hmm. is another one you could check. So there is some other agencies that do that. I would avoid the opinion type based services because they are opinion and you can't always qualify an opinion. Mm -hmm. So stick with your friends and family. And there is a lot of review services that are now available on the internet. So I think you can get a pretty good feel for a contractor given their website and some of the stuff you're seeing out there in social media and some other outlets. Good advice. Okay. Well, Michael Owings, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so very much. Thanks for coming today. Looking forward to another 30 years, maybe? We are. We are looking for another <laughs> he 30. Said, he said that with enthusiasm, so I believe you. Thank you um, so very much. Thanks again. We thanks appreciate for coming that. Out. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out more information about Owings Brothers Contractors, just log on to our website at mpt.org and click on Your Money in Business. All right, Jeff, that'll wrap it up here from Eldersburg. I think I see some lovely hardware and some granite tabletops and countertops that might give me some idea for some future plans for my home. And it's Owings Brothers Contracting, correct? That's correct. All right.